Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how to extract vertices from your vector data, which can either be um, a polyline, maybe line, or even polygon. Try right? good. However, we are looking at um, a line fissure here, and we want to extract the vertices from this what from this um, line feature so simply they are individual points that define the shape of a polyline or a polygon right good now and each of the vertices represent a specific location in space and as what associated set of what coordinates that you can use to identify that so for us to proceed let's come down to the processing toolbox and then under the processing toolbox let's um, search for extract vertices right good so we have something like um, extract vertices uh, yeah good so it's under vector geometry let's see that this algorithm takes a line or polygon layer and generates a point layer with points representing the vertices in each input line so polygon right good so this is our input layer that's actually the only layer we have on our layer panel and then the vertices will now be created we'll leave it as a temporary layer because we don't want to save it so let's um, just run that good so we have what our point layer out which shows what the vertices right now let's um, open the attribute table of that um, particular layer now we've seen what the different fields we have on our attribute table so we are going to also what extract the coordinates or let's say identify the coordinates let's use that we are going to identify the coordinates of each of these what of these vertices right good so for us to be able to do that we are going to use the field calculator from our attributes table so let's come back to the attributes table then let's um, go up to what open field calculator right good so let's um, create a new field and let's call that um, let's say latitude right then let's see decimal and then the precision let's leave it at 10 as well right good so i haven't done that let's now try to build the expression we would use for extracting the latitude coordinates of each of these um, vertex point right so let's come down to geometry and then i think um, latitude is y right good so let's get down to y Oh, uh, we can just um, type Y somewhere around on our keyboard. So what the, the description says that it returns the Y coordinate of a point geometry, right? Or the Y coordinate of the centroid of a non-point geometry, right? Good. So we have Y there. Then the the argument is not complete. So we also need them um, the dollar sign geometry. So let's come up somewhere around there to look at for the dollar sign geometry and let's see if we can close our brackets good so the bracket is closed and from the preview you can see the latitude being displayed right good. so when we click on ok the new field that we have created has been populated with what the latitude coordinates right good we can do same for the longitude open field calculator then let's call this term um, longitude, right? Good. Then same thing, old number, precision, 10. Then we still come down to geometry. This time around, I think we are looking for X, right? Good. So we have X. Then we have what? The dollar sign X, right? Good. Sorry, the dollar sign geometry. That's the X coordinate, right? Good. So we have what? the longitude coordinates of each of those points we click on ok right good so we have an attribute table that displays the different points which we have um, gotten from this our line feature or let's say polyline or polygon whatever the case is right good we have extracted the vertices of each of these um, vertices from these lines right good and then we now have the coordinates of each of those vertices, which are like the coordinates of what each of those points, right? So if you are using a CRS that is projected, you can as well, from your 
um, open field calculator you can indicate that okay you're trying to get the x and y instead of what um, latitude and longitude right? that means y and x right but instead of what latitude and longitude so with this um, we believe that we have been able to show it so you can decide to save it if you would want to let's say click on them um, save edit and then you stop your toggle editing so this will now be default a part of what your attribute still will let's confirm that good so by default this is now what part of your attribute still so if you decide to export it as um, any format of a vector you can see that as part of your attributes table when you open it again so thanks for coming to class we hope that um, we have been able to show you how to extract um, vertices from what from your line feature or maybe your polygon or polyline or whatever the case and also how to get the coordinates of each of those points or let's say each of those vertices so we are going to see you on our subsequent video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time Bye.